Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the latitude and longitude for a point feature class in ArcGIS Pro. It used to be very easy to do this in Esri's ArcGIS for Desktop in their ArcMap software, but switching to Pro, things are going to be a little bit different, so let's go through it. There's several options when you're creating the XY coordinate locations. We could add in a latitude and longitude field and then use Python scripting to calculate the maximum and minimum x and y values for those point coordinates. So in the attribute table, I'm going to click the add new field option. We'll create a new field called latitude. We'll make it a text field and we'll set the capacity at 50 characters. I'm going to add another field and we'll call this longitude. This will also be a text field and we'll set the same character limit. Okay, once I have those fields added, I can go ahead and save those modifications. And then when it's all done, I'm just going to go ahead and close the fields option box and the two fields get added into our attribute table. Now, in each column here, there is a field calculation option in ArcGIS Pro. And here's where you can use some Python language to calculate the maximum x or y coordinate of a feature. In this case, it's a point feature, so it's going to give you the x and y coordinates of that point feature. So in our geoprocessing menu here, we're going to add this to, in this case, it's going to be the latitude field. And it's simply exclamation point, shape, dot, extent. And because this is latitude, we are going to put in the y max value and then close it with another exclamation point. You can validate your code here. The expression is valid. I'm going to go ahead and run this. And it's going to calculate those fields for me. Now, because this feature class is in a projected coordinate system, it's going to calculate your x and y values in the coordinate system that your data is in. So clicking on the source tab here and looking at the spatial reference, we can see that this is in a local Portage County coordinate system for the state of Wisconsin. So if you want to calculate latitudes and longitudes in decimal degrees, you would need to convert your data into a geographic coordinate system such as WGS 1984 in order to get those coordinates put into your attribute table. One way to do that would be to click on the feature class and go to the data export features option, set your export feature class file folder, and then in the environments here, switch your output coordinate system. There is also a tool in Arc Toolbox under data management tools for projections and transformations where you can project features from one coordinate system into a different coordinate system. So that's one option for calculating xy coordinates in decimal degrees. I want to show you a couple other options as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and delete my latitude and longitude fields that we added in earlier. And I'll show you another way to calculate the coordinates directly in decimal degrees without having to transform your data into a geographic coordinate system. So here I'm just going to close the attribute table and then I'm going to open up the geoprocessing tools. And under the data management tools, in the features tool set, there's a script called add geometry attributes that we can use to calculate the latitude and longitude of a feature class. So I'm going to go ahead and open the tool up here. Our input is going to be our point feature class. The geometry properties here we're going to select the point x, y, z, and m coordinates. We'll ignore length and area since that's not what we're calculating in this particular function. And then the coordinate system, we're simply going to use our selector button here and we're going to select a geographic coordinate system. In this case, I'm going to use WGS 1984. I can run a search and it's located right here under geographic coordinate systems in the world folder. So we'll go ahead and select this and then we're going to run the function. If you've run the tool successfully you'll get a completed successfully message down here in the lower right hand corner 
And when we open the attribute field back up, we don't see the new fields that were created. Uh, but the function is telling us that it created it correctly. I'm going to save my project file here. And then let's close it and reopen it and see if that refreshes the attribute table. So here I'm going to reopen the project that I was just in. Open that attribute table back up. And now we have our point X, our point Y, and if we had an elevation value, it would be listed under point Z here. And you can see that these are formatted as decimal degrees. Here is our longitude values, and here's our latitude values. Finally, what if we want to convert these decimal degrees into a degrees, minutes, and seconds format? This is going to take one more additional step. I'm going to go back to my analysis tools here. And this time I'll just do a search for the tool. The tool that we're looking for is Convert Coordinate Notation. And it's in the Data Management tool set if you're looking for it within the toolbox. Now here, when we're converting the coordinate notation, our input table is going to be our feature class. And then we need to define where the output feature class is going to be saved. So what this is going to do is create a new feature class that you can save in your project folders in your default geodatabase. So I'm going to go ahead and save it in the same location. I'm going to call it geocaching points and then I'm going to suffix it with DMS for degrees, minutes, and seconds. So the input coordinate format is in decimal degrees. And the two here notates that the longitude and latitude are in separate fields. For your X field, your longitude, you're going to select point X. Your Y field, you're going to select point Y. And then the output coordinate format here, we're also going to select the degrees, minutes, and seconds option with a two suffixed behind it, which indicates that our latitude and our longitudes are going to appear in separate columns in the attribute output. So I'm going to go ahead and run this operation. And you'll see the output gets added to our contents panel in ArcGIS Pro. I'm going to right click and open up the attribute table here. And now you see here's my DMS latitude values and my DMS longitude values right in the attribute table. If you have any comments or any suggestions on how to do this process quicker, go ahead and comment in the suggestions below.